Ninja House. Hi, I'm Dom Matthews, studio head here at Ninja Theory in Cambridge, UK. Hello, Dom. We're now in the final months of development on Senua Saga Hellblade 2. Mm. And the team is working hard to bring you an unforgettable journey into Senua's unique world and her battle for survival, where we have once again combined high fidelity and immersive presentation with a shorter, narrative-led experience that focuses on the things that we really care about and that we hope you care about too. Senua is back with a new quest. She wants to stop the Vikings who raided her village right at their source in Iceland. But not just her quest. I know she plays Senua. She did a really good job. Has grown since the first Hellblade. She's made peace with her past and is no longer in such fear of her visions and voices. While the Furies are still her constant companions, she encounters new people along the way, some of which will value her unique perspective and others who will reject her. <coughs> little by little, this settlement became my tribe. In the game, Senua arrives in 10th century Iceland on the trail of the Vikings who have been enslaving her people. In the story, we're trying to be as faithful to history as we can up to a point, establishing a solid framework and then building more surreal elements on top. Senua face up to giants who have plunged the land into chaos and which in turn has seen the rise of the Joiga, a violent mm. threat that has swept through the settlements that she'll discover. Mm. Senua will make new enemies and also new allies who will come to see her unique perspective as a beacon of hope. And she'll discover along with us how this viewpoint can have its advantages. Mm. Senua is a Celtic warrior who experiences psychosis. Seeing things that other people don't, hearing voices and having unique beliefs about the world around her. To bring Senua's perspective of the world to life in a truthful way, we have once again worked closely with Professor Paul Fletcher at the University of Cambridge, as well as people with lived experience of psychosis. Mm. Players will find themselves traversing beautiful and hostile environments seeking answers from patterns and signs that Senua sees in her own unique way, and battling through encounters with enemies that will push Senua to her limits. Mm. On Saga, we've taken everything to the next level. With a new motion capture space, a bigger stage team, a stunt crew and a new cast, mm. We spent a lot of time planning the motion capture shoots, thinking of what events would be good to bring into this fight. Like, how can we make this fight feel different from the previous fight? Mm. We have all new combat for the sequel. I like the combat in the first one, it was pretty good. Our key goals was the ability to actually Ooh. tell a story. God exactly. damn. It does feel very different from the first game, but it's very brutal and you're very invested in it. Mm. Senua isn't a superhero. She's Damn. fighting for survival, and we want the player to feel her struggle in every step of her journey. Mm. We want the player to always feel like they just scraped through, just survived it. Mel knows Senua better than anyone, better than I do. Her instincts are amazing, and she really doesn't need much help from me. On stage, our main focus is storytelling. So I get to watch the actors and see all the beautiful expressions on their faces. And then I have to wait a little while and then I get to see that all again in game, in costume, on location, everything. It's, it's a great experience, a great process. Every discipline in the studio is unified in achieving a deep level of immersion to help suspend your disbelief and pull you into Senua's story. We were lucky enough to do a few reference <coughs> trips in Iceland. You have to be there. The, the sense of scale, everything is incredible. And you see a scene or you see a small section of the game and you're like, yeah, that, that works, that's amazing. 
Senoa experiences reality differently, and a part of this manifests in the voices he hears. These voices come to life through binaural audio, which provides a good representation of this type of auditory hallucinations. As we focus on immersion, uh, binaural audio is perfect for this because through headphones you surround yourself in a three-dimensional space. In the first game, we only apply to the voices that yes. Senua listens in her head. In this game, through spatial audio technology and uh, some extra little things within the game, mm. there is music that is binaural. Every single sound has the potential to be binaural, so everything is spatialized around you, and it's a very beautiful experience. Hmm. I already hope this is going to be game of year music material. I mean, in the sense that it speaks to our emotions fast and deep. It's not only about quality, it's about personality. So when you listen to Headley, you know it's Headley. Hmm. I mean, just look at it, y'all. This is a different I mean, game of year material. Them, which for me is a personal privilege because I really admire them. We feel their craft, their depth, their meaning in the music. It really connects with our game and elevates it to something really special. We are also working with a heavy metal singer, throat singers, and our very own furies. They sing so beautiful, and we add that binaural touch of music. So this all creates a very immersive and a very special and unique experience. Mm. Our mission here at Ninja Theory is to craft life-changing art with game-changing tech. And that's our aim in Senua Saga Hellblade 2, is to not only see where Senua goes next, but to deliver something really meaningful for our players. My hope is that they will really connect to Senua as a character, and even if they can't really relate to what she's going through, maybe they know someone that relates to that character and they can then understand that person better. Well, I don't want to sound cheesy, but in a way I'm Senua, right? She exists and doesn't, it exists through all of our work, through every ninja. So we all are Senua and we are creating this character that grows and grows and grows and grows and keeps growing and keeps changing. So that makes it real. I'm so proud of the love, care and passion that our team here at Ninja Theory are putting into Senua's saga Help by 2. Our hope is to not only create a game that is great to play, but to craft an experience that leaves you thinking and feeling. From our combat gameplay through to our action set pieces, from our cinematic scenes to our puzzle solving, everything is crafted in service of Senua's journey. A journey that you can embark on on May 21st. Nice. May 21st, all right. That's not so far. That's not so far. I'm glad it's coming out before summer. Hell yeah, all right. Oh my goodness, wow. I'm so excited for this, man. Oh wow, because I did really enjoy the first one, man. The first one was so intense. It was so intense, man. Such an intense experience playing this. Because I played on Game Pass a year um, before I graduated from college. And I wanted to get some spare time to get ahead and play Hellblade, Hellblade on um, Game Pass. So, yeah. Talk about good time, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this, y'all. I don't know what to say. All I know is this is definitely looks like this is going to be Game of Year material. This is definitely going to be Game of the Year nominated or whatever. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. So, yeah. Absolutely hyped for it, y'all. So, Hot Squad, if you enjoyed my reaction to the game overview of Hellblade 2 Senua Saga, please hit that button and comment your thoughts. Have you played the first one? What is your opinions about it? You know, have you played it? Do you want to play it? Uh, first of all, I I, have, I honestly recommend playing it. I definitely recommend playing the first Hellblade before playing the second one. And also, I did saw this was $50 and it's going to be a digital only release, which a lot of people are very pissed off, I would say. Pissed off about it's actually a digital only release. And and it's a bummer. And of course, I did heard about Xbox. You know they're scrapping the um, physical media, um, physical media games, which would piss a lot of people off, man. And this is tragic, damn tragic. So Hot Squad, if you enjoyed this, of course, like I said, please hit that button, comment, discuss share your thoughts. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have hold on, hold on, another last trailer, and it's the official trailer for Abigail. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have that in a few moments.